informative, educational, objective, inclusive, comprehensive. This is Progress Report. Updates and conversations from the Government Information Service. Good day, and we are back with another episode of Progress Report. My name is Ivan Khan. I've missed you. It's good to have you back. Thank you. I've <laughs> missed you. It's good to be back, Glenniva. I missed you. You did an excellent job, as usual. After all, it is Glenniva's show. Don't mind me. I'm just part of the furniture <laughs> and fittings here. Um, but, yeah, I was out um, with a bit of a doctor's little visit last time. You know, um, Hope all is well. All is well. Okay. I just had a <laughs> severe sinus. You know, I uh, traveled. Uh. Um, it was good. Gained a little time off. Did some stuff. But... Fun fact, I, I have like severe sinus, so like I don't do carpet well and stuff and mm. then the hotel just had carpet every place. Uh -huh. When I got back here, it was like, oh, you went and you had some carpet, you know what you get? <laughs> 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 and it didn't, it didn't work out, man. Sinuses were draining, it was, yeah. Anybody who has sinuses know when yeah. that pressure hits you, yeah. it's not, it's not fun. But I'm good, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. back. Not a hundred percent, but more than more than more than eighty five. So I'm, I'm getting there, okay. and um, I just want to get back into the swing of things. Uh, we have with us in the studio <laughs> today um, a lovely young lady. I will let you introduce yourself and let everyone know where you're from, what you do, and then we're gonna come back to me and I'll tell them why you're here. <laughs> okay, hi, my name is Monifa Brooks Gums. Uh -huh. I'm the administrator at the Pension Fund. Okay. And I'm happy to be here to talk about the Pension Fund today. Okay, <laughs> good. So, on that note, <laughs> for those who still have uh, somewhat of a preconceived notion that this is a politically <laughs> angled program. <laughs> Again, we literally, we're not. <laughs> we are literally here just so folks can have some insight into how government functions. Mm -hmm. Now, people like me would not know what the pension fund does. <laughs> you <laughs> you don't? But, okay. Uh huh. I'm really looking forward to today's episode. <laughs> let, let's Thank put it that way because I think, I think it's going to provide an opportunity to be educated, um, mm -hmm. myself, general public, on issues and matters that I'm not personally affected by as someone who's not in a public service. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. And so I, I think I want to jump right here I I and, right and go in right. because I, I think you guys, I, <laughs> it's our show. <laughs> <laughs> because I think I may have jumped the gun a little bit. Uh -huh. We speak about pensions fund. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I jumped the gun a little bit by stating it doesn't affect me. Mm -hmm. Who it? is the should it? And who is the pension fund for? Is it just for the public service, or can individuals pay into the the pension fund? At the moment, it is strictly for the public service, government uh -huh. employees, uh -huh. and um, employees of government agencies. So like Health Authority, um, Anguilla Air and Seaport Authority, right. Anguilla Development Board, Anguilla Tourist Board, and all those other similar type agencies mm -hmm. also contribute along with government um, employees. Okay. So, public service. Public service. Mm -hmm. okay. I have a slight problem with that. <laughs> Go ahead. Here's my problem with okay. that. And I, I'm being honest. Like, what other pension providing services are there in Angola? None. But we as have, far as, we, as, far know, as we know. But we have an economy that's fueled by tourism. Mm -hmm. The largest portion of our population employed that's is correct. in there. That's correct. What secures their future and the future mm -hmm. of their 
children. That's mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Then you have a bunch of entrepreneurs, and we have all these young people yes. going into the eco- orange economy and mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. We don't learn about 401ks and every other instrument there. Mm-hmm. Why is it that legislatively we cannot expand the pension fund with our limited population already <laughs> to have individual contributions? Well, to answer the first part uh-huh. with the hospitality industry right now, it's just a social security um, pension they can look forward to at uh-huh. 65. Um, like you hinted to, uh-huh. legislation prevents us from uh-huh. opening up to other um, employees and employers. Okay. We get calls all the time, believe it or not. We okay. get calls all the time of a person wanting to join because people are thinking about retirement, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, they know that Social Security is just one avenue, but they want to secure it in a different way. Right. You, know, you know, beef up, get mm-hmm. more funds. Right. And um, so they contact us, but, you know, we always have to turn them down and say, based on the legislation, at the moment, it is only for public service so, workers. So, believe it or not, right, we have a little mm-hmm. a little magic hole in this setup here. <laughs> yeah. It's actually in the camera what you do. <laughs> so, you usually look at it and you say what you want, uh, and like, the money will come from it at some point later. But I understand that you don't want money. Mm. You want legislative change. change. Yes. Mm. How yes. far are we from from actually pursuing that and what would be necessary to pursue that? What would it mean that the ministry that you're following, because your government, that's what I learned, like it is government and it falls under the Ministry of Finance. Correct. Mm -hmm. But it's administrated Mm -hmm. uh, under the Ministry of Home Affairs through the public it's through public, public administration. Admin. Public um, administration. Okay. Yes, the chairperson is uh-huh. from the um, the PS. Public administration is our chair by law. But we do fall under the Ministry of Finance. So you, you see how we got a couple of things. Yes. I know you're a legislator here <laughs> now. So you, you, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You know, so what, what Gleneva does, right? Gleneva does read the exco minutes. Oh. You know anybody that does read the exco minutes that's not a legislator? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, you're making fun of me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do as uh, well. Oh, so you're a legislator oh, as well. Yes. King Yeah, we have to keep up. Thank you. Yes, we yes, have to we keep have up to. to date. We have to see what's going on, you know, so that mm-hmm. we can make sure that we are well informed. Okay, so, yes, so definitely. how are we going to fix the legislation? Um, the legislation. Well, we would have to convince Executive Council first and foremost. You got to, you got to. We would have to convince Executive Council, uh-huh. uh, the Premier and his cabinet, um, as well as the Governor, that... Um, Pension for all, a uh-huh. pension for others, people other than public servants is necessary, right? So we would have to put forward a case, do some research, financial implications. That's always key because you mm-hmm. always get mm-hmm. costing. What is this going to cost me? Uh-huh. You know. So of course, being attached to finance, you would have to support that. You right. know, with um figures. Right. You have to make sure you would have to get an actuary to uh-huh. look at the costing, okay. and then make a proposal to executive council, along with um you know if we had some unions and some other like hotel a lot or something <laughs> yeah. like that that would boost their case to join. Then you have other um private employers like the banks. Uh-huh. You know we have um insurance companies. Maybe they too would want to join, but again. We have to convince Executive Council to amend the legislation through the AG Chambers and pass it in the House. So we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, I think it should at least be explored. Definitely. The interest is there. Uh The interest is definitely there with the Anguilla public. I'm telling you, we get calls, we get visits at the office on a regular basis where persons want to secure their future. They want to invest their money. You know, and that's something that's saying a lot. Of course. You know, they, they, that's saying a lot. Yeah. So I, I think it's definitely yeah. a possibility. <laughs> Good. I, I, I do have a question just uh-huh. listening because, you know, we now understand what it would take mm-hmm. to get to that point. Have there been any discussions on possibly moving towards that point? Um, discussion wise, yes, we have had some workers in the government itself that aren't covered. These are wage workers; they're termed oh, unestablished boy. workers. Oh. Those workers do not contribute to the fund at the present moment, right? So there is some interest from that group 
you know, in particular, because they're attached, they're already government workers. Most of them are salaried, meaning they get a monthly um, salary, you know, mm -hmm. and they're employed throughout <coughs> the year. So therefore, it would be, you would consider it easier to attach them to the pension fund. But again, legislation prevents them from, you know, making that move or being able to make that move. So, so... Sometimes what holds things up with legislation, and I hope I'm not speaking out of turn, mm -hmm. um, is the the back end of the work, mm -hmm. actuary okay. studies and all mm -hmm. these type of information mm -hmm. that we would need to get things done. Mm -hmm. But that's just a human resource problem that I look at it. Mm -hmm. Because there's only so much persons in the AG chambers here, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's stopping... Ministry of Finance from commissioning someone to get this done? Or what's stopping the pension fund from commissioning someone with approval from mm -hmm. Ministry of Finance to mm -hmm. get this initial work done? Um, I'm not sure. Um, well, with regards to the wage workers, the uh -huh. pool isn't very large. Because okay. I did have some conversations with the education department uh -huh. when they um, initially brought it up. You know, because they have a large number of um, mm -hmm. wage, wage workers. workers yes. Right? So, in terms of that, I'm not too convinced that you need an actuary study okay. because um, the pool of persons is so small. Right. It's probably maybe 100. Persons, mm -hmm. right? That's um, the bus drivers, the custodians. custodians. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. persons like that, right? Mm -hmm. And they're monthly paid workers, like I said. Right. And government. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the convincing thing now would be for the employer, the government, to make that match uh -huh. or that contribution on their behalf. So okay. persons, no, they, by the way, the contribution rate for employees is 3% and uh -huh. for employers is 4% right now, okay? okay? And that is forecast to change based on our last actuarial report. Change okay? to what now? Um, for employers, it's um, going to 5% in January of next year, uh -huh. and um, the following year, it will go to 6%, and then for employees, we also have to do some consultations with them because there's a recommendation for 1% increase as well. So it will stay at, right now, it right will stay at, at, three. at 3. At 3, yes. And in the then next two years. in the next two years, government should double. Yes, correct. Right. Okay. Correct. Employers, because remember, Employers. it's not only government. Okay. We have the government agencies that pay into it as well. Okay. okay? Yeah, I, I think yeah. we wanted to clarify mm -hmm. <laughs> who we met when you said employers, uh -huh. just so that yes. you know the general public doesn't think mm -hmm. that this is affecting social security. Or, oh, oh yeah, you know, yeah. They, you might want to say let's, let's do our little let's do our little clarity break. <laughs> <laughs> Because you have to yes, get that right. I, 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 think, okay. I, I do think it's important that we, you know, stick a plug and mm -hmm. and that we mention when you say employers, mm -hmm. it is government and the statutory bodies Correct. who pay into the public service pension, pension fund. fund. Mm -hmm. It's not the universal social levy, it's not no. social no. security. No. It is simply this. Mm -hmm. And there are nine of them, nine agencies that contribute to oh. the pension fund. Okay, and we want more. I just want to put it out there that we want more. We want we more. Want more. So <laughs> yes, we yes. Want more. We want more. <laughs> Outside of the public service pension fund, and uh, to my mind, the name alone kind of yes. gives <laughs> um, the scope mm -hmm. of who would fall oh, under this bad. pension right. fund. Okay. And so, well, yes, I agree mm -hmm. that there should be a scheme. Uh, I don't want to use the word scheme, but... Uh, avenue for mm -hmm. persons who are outside of the public service who want to contribute to a pension mm -hmm. are there such avenues is there anything stopping um let's just say an uh, employer from setting up its own pension fund for its employees so a hotel wants to do a pension fund mm -hmm. is there anything within your legislation that says no you can't that pension funds are simply just for the public service no 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 okay. there's nothing um preventing any outside private employer from setting up their own um pension plan as far as i know anglic they have their own mm -hmm. pension plan for their employees i know the banks years ago they had their own mm -hmm. pension plan as well mm -hmm. but the key what i find with um from my knowledge of pensions the larger the pool of contributors the more sustainable it would be as and well. that's that's right? why i was getting to mm -hmm. 
that we need more people on board mm-hmm. simply because at the most basic level, quote me if you want, 90% of the problems we face economically mm-hmm. in Angola is due to the fact some underlying issue is the size of our population mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. those that contribute. Yeah. People say, okay, this 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 restaurant isn't doing well. But how many people can go to yes. dinner? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. You understand? Okay, this person is saying, all right, um, this supermarket isn't doing it well. How many people shop? We have a population problem that has to address. We touched on this on this we show have, have. several times. <laughs> we touched on the union stuff on this. Again, it all boils back to the numbers. Yes. So, this is why I'm saying. I think that the public service pension fund should be given the liberty to expand its reach Mm -hmm. because from my limited understanding of pension funds or pensions, you can use this movement of money paying in Mm -hmm. what's not to do quite a bit of things. Oh, yes. mm-hmm. So oh, what do you definitely. do from the pension fund? Definitely. Well, um, I'm glad you asked that. Uh-huh. <laughs> because we have a, a new program, well, uh-huh. five years now, um, called the Pension Fund Loan Program. Okay. And this is something where contributors can tap into their contributions earlier than at the retirement age, okay. but in the form of a loan. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it works like a regular loan where we have an interest rate, we have an application fee, we have a whole process mm-hmm. that persons must go through to be able to be approved for the loan. Right. right? Mm-hmm. And at um, just to um, say the criteria, you have to be a contributor number one mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. contributing for at least two years. Okay. Right. The minimum that one can borrow is a thousand EC. Okay. okay. Yeah, right now, our interest rate is 5%. I know mm-hmm. we get a lot of questions with persons saying, oh, why do I have to pay interest on my own money? Because but, you have to pay interest yes. on your own money that's in the bank as well. <laughs> yes, yes. But the thing, <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, we're actually get, granting you a favor yes. of letting you have access to it before the time. Right. right? Right, so it's a 5% um, interest rate, and then the application fee is just 50 EC. It's, you know, just minimal to just help with um, administrative costs and stuff. But, um, and the repayment is, they're small, um, short loans, uh-huh. so the max is five years. We don't go beyond five years. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, that's good to know. Mm-hmm. Um, how, and I'm certain the interest rate also helps with ensuring the longevity of the fund oh, yes, what other measures are in place mm-hmm. to ensure the longevity of the fund okay we do have local investments uh, term deposits okay. and which we own interest rate but that is something that um, the interest rate the low interest rate on the um, investments are what really pushed us towards looking for a different option mm-hmm. because right now you get like two percent at the banks you know mm-hmm. it's our less you know, and it doesn't matter the amount that you've invested. So with the loans now, getting a 5% return is much better. And right. I mean, we have over 500 loans, believe it or not. It's, oh, wow. Yeah, we have a lot of loans. There's a lot of interest because it's about um, 1,400 contributors. Okay. So about, let's say, half of them have loans with us or have had a loan with us at some point, right? Mm-hmm. So that um, is a way of diversifying and ensuring that we get some kind of return for our investments. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> 500 loans. Yeah, yeah, we... Yeah. we you're, have, you're competing with the development board? Yeah, well, we have the funds available. <laughs> oh so we I are told going you she didn't need anybody. <laughs> That's we good. do have funds available, so what's not um, used for paying graduates or pensions, right. we invested because in, that's the that's the important thing i wanted you to get to mm-hmm. the pension fund is not taking your money and sitting down there waiting for you to retire <laughs> no, and they say okay this will be had this year holding for you like mm-hmm. some like some um where they call it china they 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 they, they bowls and stuff there in your grandmother kitchen oh, cabinet uh, thing. china china we are china, where they yeah. call them stuff uh-huh. in the cabinet that yeah. people sit down and wait as their inheritance because oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, and hope yes, it yes, have yes. some value there. No, <laughs> okay. mm-hmm. you're, no. you're literally trying yeah. to grow yes. because 
But why are you trying to grow the fund? Because then somebody might say, like they say, why are you charging interest on their money? Why are you trying to yeah, grow the fund? But we have to grow it because, I mean, they're contributing at 3% employers at 4% right now, uh-huh. right? So that can only take you so far. Um, let me just back up a bit too. With um, employees for government, right? They would be covered from when they joined the service. So for some persons, remember we started in 2004, I'm not sure if I told you that before, <laughs> January, January 1st, 2004 was when we started c- with contributions, right? Mm-hmm. Prior to that, there was no contribution towards your pension, no contributions. It was just discretionary, government paid it from consolidated funds, and that was that, right? But because that was unsustainable, right, there had to be some changes whereby persons now contribute towards their own pension. Right. So how how it take us Uh, so long to realize that? So uh, even I don't know. (laughs) And the thing is, like I mentioned, we are also covering persons who would have started, let's say, in the seventies, in the eighties. We are responsible for paying those persons. So now that would be a large gap, thirty years Mm. of what. No contributions, but we still have to cover that. So we have to find ways of using these contributions to work and make sure that there's funds, as promised, at age sixty or sixty-five. So we have to make sure. (laughs) <laughs> no, I, I think you kind of covered where I was going next because, as you said, the pension fund is 18 years young. Yes. You know, yes. that's hilarious. <laughs> no, you know, no, the, you ain't. The, 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 the contributory <laughs> side yes, of contrib- is mm-hmm. uh, the employer, employee's contribution is 18, 18 years. years. I, can, I, can I just say my joke, please? Mm-hmm. Go, go, ahead. My joke. go ahead. You know, we've been saying forever mm-hmm. that the youth have to pay oh, yes. literally that's what it is you have something 18 years old yeah paying for something that should have been mm-hmm. paying 40 50 years ago yeah yeah so so this isn't this isn't just theory when we say these no, things no and that's my that's my pickle <laughs> <laughs> if i mean that's my pickle with the entire thing and i think you might probably feel some of the same Geneva, especially being in financial services i hear your cries mm. I, I, I you you raise your eyebrows <laughs> but these are conversations that we have that now seem to be coming full circle because mm. if we don't address these things angola yeah. would have mm-hmm. a serious problem serious. Yeah. I, okay so angola <laughs> would have a serious problem if not addressed do you think, and you mentioned, you know, the increase in contributions. Mm-hmm. Is the increase in contributions a direct result of the fact that we weren't contributing before? before. It's, is it safe to say that it's not sustainable at the current contributory rate? Um, our last actuarial report, and this is public knowledge, mm-hmm. because it was laid before the House, um, gave us tw- up to 2028, they said um, sustainable. Oh, right? Don't look at me like that, Glenn. Okay. Give me my math team. <laughs> oh, that's so that's six years. Yes, yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. So six years out. Uh, uh, again, me and Matt saying the best, so I'm mm-hmm. just going to mm-hmm. walk this out and bear with me. Uh-huh. You started contributing 18 years ago. Mm -hmm. So someone who entered the workforce at the age of 20. Simple maths. Uh Mm -hmm. Age of 20, they entered the workforce. This was 18 years ago. Mm -hmm. So at this point, they're 38. Uh In six years, they'll be 44. Uh And at the current rate, they would not be up for retirement at 44. Mm -hmm. They would have contributed for 24 years, Mm -hmm. but there's nothing to give them. No, but no, no, no. As um, in, if if these changes if, aren't yes, made, that's that's yes. what that's but, what I was getting. At, but like. um, the thing is, this isn't um something unique to Angola. Okay, yeah. pension, pension reform, those things are normal business, you know, uh-huh. dealings, uh-huh. right? For eighteen years, the contribution rate was unchanged at three percent. To begin with, three percent is very low. Okay, it is very low compared to other places. When you look at it, they're contributing double digits. Okay, twelve. Yes, yeah. to get you know, so we are very fortunate in Anguilla <coughs> to have had it at three percent for eighteen years okay. and still have not missed a payment mm-hmm. of pension or gratuity. 
okay? And, <laughs> yes, and we won't, and we won't, and okay. we won't. We are very yes. diligent, and that's what we've been pushing. Uh -huh. And um, the actuary, in his... Um, professional opinion once mm -hmm. he issues a recommendation we try to go um and act on that okay. Okay. right as far as we can so that's why the contribution rate for the employer has already gone up from this year it has already gone up right so that is to ensure that sustainability that pushes that buys us more time so if you look at the region what has happened lately was the retirement age has been pushed further and further away from 65 and that, in a sense, helps the younger persons because the earlier your retirement age is, the more um, pressure it is on the younger persons to pay your way because you live longer, right? right? If you because previously it was 55, right? Yeah. What is the current retirement? We have two 60 or 65, depending on when you started. So, if persons started before 2004 when we joined, they, their retirement age is 60. And anybody from 2004 onward is 65. So, mm -hmm. so let me okay. ask you a very interesting mm -hmm. question. Okay. <laughs> After school, I spent some time as a teacher. Okay. So I worked for government. Mm -hmm. Glenifa them gave me panic attacks. <laughs> oh, really? oh my god! So I left teaching. Oh. I went to university. I came back. I've been private sector since. since. Then. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm now back in government. Mm -hmm. How does pension look at that break? Okay, breaks in service are considered um, non-pensioner. Okay. Pensionable, because you would have resigned. Once you resign or terminate your service, uh -huh. it cuts off. Okay. Were you contributing at the point? I would, I would believe so. They would you cannot, be. So cannot if, be because I left school in 2004. So you would have taught me before then. Yeah, but she oh, said from okay. 2000. Okay, no, so 2004. 2004. Oh, 2004. Okay, I understand. So that. you would have been on the, the period when there were no contributions. Okay, gotcha, right? gotcha, gotcha. But let's say, right. let's say somebody started in 2004 and they resigned in 2006. Uh -huh. What happens at that point is you're contributing, so we give you a refund of your contributions along with mm -hmm. interest. Okay? Oh, you get a refund. You get a okay. refund and you sever the tie. Let's say if you had a scholarship opportunity, uh, government granted you leave without pay, uh -huh. then your service continues with government. There's no need for a benefit payment at that point. Right. So those mm -hmm. that have gone on and shepherding in and stuff, yes. their, their contribution doesn't yes. stop. No. No, it awesome. doesn't stop. So young people, that's a plug for you. Yes. Steady, steady. Government as an employer yes. has its benefits. Mm -hmm. okay. It does, it does. Uh, and you can also, like I said, leave without pay. You know, if granted, you are allowed the opportunity to pay your contribution yourself while you're away. You mm. can make that contribution. So mm. there's no break and there's no, you don't lose any contribution. Gotcha. Period. Okay? Gotcha. That's good yes. to know. Yeah. Very, Very good. good. <laughs> so... Just for understanding, mm -hmm. mine, general okay. public, persons who aren't um, <laughs> beneficiaries of. <laughs> and uh, yeah, are there persons, <laughs> are there persons who, outside of the scope of maybe persons who retired before um, 2004 or um, had very limited contributions, so they may have retired shortly after, after. Mm -hmm. 2004 are there persons who receive pensions who have not contributed no you okay. have to be a contributor to receive a benefit so let's take the example of somebody whose retirement um, came in 2004 that person would not fall under the pension fund they would be paid through the ministry of finance and the treasury department because mm. they would have their age would be 55 Okay. Okay, so with it, there's something in the law that says that as well. Okay. So if you retire within a year of um, the 2004 and you were making the 55, bam, you were the responsibility of the consolidated fund and the government. Okay. So that so would be an unfunded pension. Okay. Yeah. No. So they, they get paid every month? Every month. And they so receive a gratuity. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me understand something. Okay. So there are persons <laughs> that are paid a pension mm -hmm. from the consolidated fund Correct. within government mm -hmm. every month. Mm -hmm. This is not just the politicians and stuff that no, you hear. No, there no. are persons from the service mm -hmm. that are still paid mm -hmm. 
a quote unquote if you want a, a salary like type yeah, salary. Salary. Mm-hmm. The pension. Pension. a pension mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but people would believe that this ain't happening because I didn't know this was happening yeah. I thought it was only the politicians because that's what well, you hear on radio well I'm happy you went there because this is why I asked the question mm-hmm. but this can be true <laughs> <laughs> no 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 I, I asked the question because there is a lot of information out there and sometimes it is very difficult to wade mm-hmm. through what is true what is not mm-hmm. and it's been a topic it's it's something that I feel very strongly about I'm, I'm but now I, I want to know if I have been misinformed mm-hmm. in the information that I feel so strongly about <laughs> <laughs> and I, Ivan, Ivan went there you mm-hmm. know because I was certain that persons get paid a pension um, even if they retired before 2004 because oh, I know yes. that mm-hmm. pension I, I did not realize mm-hmm. that said pension was being paid from the consolidated fund mm-hmm. I assumed um, it's a, it was a discretionary pension at the at okay. the point but um, yeah no contributions uh-huh. but you know they want title to a pension based on years of service okay yeah Okay. Ivan touched on the elected representatives mm-hmm. legislators we know there's been a lot of talk about them receiving a pension. Mm-hmm. Are they receiving a pension through the pension fund or like persons who were non-contributors prior to the establishment of the pension fund? No, the um, legislators' pension that's separate and apart from the public service pension fund. Um, mm-hmm. They have their own legislation. And so it's administered through the House of Assembly, I believe, mm-hmm. through Ministry of Finance and Treasury. Okay. Yeah, so it's... Yeah, so we, it's, we don't so, have so, anything to do with that okay, one. So then you have, mm-hmm. so you then have three, three. different mm-hmm. types of public service pension, so to speak. Correct. You have the public service pe- sorry, the mm-hmm. public service pension fund. That's a tongue oh. twist off. Yeah. <laughs> Which but, but PSP, PSPF. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think that twist my tongue even more. <laughs> But we have that fund mm-hmm. established in 2004. That is a contributory fund, one right. that's mm-hmm. at the current rate. Employees mm-hmm. contribute 3%, employers 4%. Correct. Moving mm-hmm. to 6. Over time. Gradually. 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 Okay. okay. Then you have the legislator's pension mm-hmm. that is separate and apart from government employees' monies and their contributions. Correct. Good to know. Mm-hmm. And then you, have then you have the third one, where through no fault of their own, no. because mm-hmm. the this, this system did not exist Bef- before, mm-hmm. you have persons who would have retired prior to 20, uh, 2004 mm-hmm. who receive a pension. Correct. Okay. No and, th- and that was the norm, you know. And that's mm-hmm. fine. Remember, yes. all over the world, that was the norm. You weren't um, contributing towards your pension, right? But um, Anguilla really moved quickly. Mm-hmm. I know you said two to, it's 18 years and it seems young, mm-hmm. but we moved quickly. We were one of the first mm-hmm. in the Eastern Caribbean eh, to have a contributory pension plan. And I, 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 I applaud you for it mm-hmm. um, because I think it brings a bit of balance and accountability. Yes. Definitely. Because, let me see how I can word this without getting in trouble. I agree with persons getting a pension, but far too long things go without structure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm happy that, that the public service pension fund would have brought some structure to a system that I think is necessary. Mm-hmm. Um, but on the backdrop of that now, and I have to go back here, where would we be in the next 10 years if we don't get some structure in the other areas <laughs> of our economy? Mm-hmm. that needs this mm-hmm. and maybe it's not a question that you can answer but I'm, I'm saying <laughs> you're thinking out loud I'm thinking out loud <laughs> because I think it's necessary mm-hmm. like when you talk about for instance the Minister of Education Honorable Diane Kentish Rogers been here talking about changing our curriculum you, you've heard the Premier you've heard Minister Hughes Quint- Minister Gums everybody talk about you know Transforming education, mm-hmm. thinking about financial literacy. Mm-hmm. Who's talking about investments and 401ks? The modus operandi in Angola has been 
go to school, <laughs> get education, come out, work hard, build a house. That's it. Mm-hmm. Later on dead. Mm-hmm. Like, literally. Mm-hmm. Got some land, leave some land for your children if you can. But who's looking at investment that's going to drive generational wealth? Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Generational wealth. That's key. And part of it is mm-hmm. what you would leave. Some people mm-hmm. get a jump start based on pensions. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that takes me right into <laughs> <laughs> where I wanted to go. Mm-hmm. Pensions. Who benefits? Who benefits? Of course, contributors, uh-huh. spouses, mm-hmm. and independent children. Okay? Independent children meaning up to age 18. If they are in a tertiary education, they get it up until age 21. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's in the event of a debt mm-hmm. um, of a contributor. Okay, okay. so definitely it has to be a spouse or dependent children along with the contributor. Okay, so mm-hmm. I want to kind of give some thought to this. Okay. Dependent children up until the age of 18 should... God forbid something happen mm-hmm. to the contributor. Men might be in a very different position than women when mm-hmm. it comes to dependent children. <laughs> because the reality is in mm-hmm. biology, mm-hmm. very few women mm-hmm. are going to be having children beyond the ages of 45, 50. That, that is just, you know, at... That's at, biology? At, I thought that was choice. No, no, that's biology. <laughs> at, I mean, even at my youthful age, oh, I, fun. Bo, bo, it, I, I would, it, it would be considered a geriatric pregnancy. A what? Geriatric. Yeah, we yeah. have to talk about that. No, I know it is. And, and yeah. because there are health risks and there are all of these things. And, and, you know, with biology kicking in and the likelihood of a woman beyond the age of 48, 50, mm-hmm. There is a very slim chances that that person sh- would have a dependent a minor child. Yes. child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in this instance, mm-hmm. women may be a bit at um, a disadvantage, disadvantage yeah. if she has no spouse or her spouse precedes her in debt. Mm-hmm. And she have a 19-year-old, a 20-year-old, mm-hmm. who's not in a tertiary um, educational setting or mm-hmm. institution. And then all of those contributions go to... No. no. Okay. Good. No. You <laughs> asked about um, beneficiaries, Benefits, yes. right? Yeah. So um, in the case of someone who has no spouse, no dependent children, the estate is um, the one that gets the lump sum. What oh, it was the benefit. Oh, okay. Yes, in okay. that case. For survivor's benefits, it's the monthly payment and whatever is until those ages. Mm-hmm. But there is, you don't contribute to a fund and not get something back. Okay, okay? so the money is not lost. Mm-hmm. You will just have to, if the person had a will and they assigned a particular person as their beneficiary, mm-hmm. um, that person would be paid. If they died without a will, the court administers letters of administration mm-hmm. and we pay those persons. Okay. Uh, person. Because usually it's two. Mm-hmm. But um, we would make the payment to that person. But it's a one-off payment. It's not a continuous yes. payment. Okay, so it's a lump sum. It's a lump sum. That's okay, it. You see, you. I, I, when yes. we started, I told you, <laughs> there's a lot that <laughs> I may not know mm-hmm. and a lot that the general public may not be yeah, aware of no. and... Mm-hmm. A lot of times, again, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm stating this, a lot of times there's information in the public sphere that is misinformation. Oh, we are well aware of that. And I am... Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm aware that, but I'll, 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 I'll say this. Mm-hmm. It's one of the reasons, again, that I enjoy doing this, this program mm-hmm. because it allows for the education of the public, mm-hmm. for the clarification of any misinformation that may be out there. Mm-hmm. And so, I know, we've not even reached close to the end, but I do want to say thank you mm. for taking the opportunity and coming on and just being able to be open and speak about no. these different issues because I think it is so important that as a public, as a, as a community, 
that we are informed and that we are rightfully mm -hmm. informed. But we do, um, we do have sessions. But again, because it's restricted to a certain pool of persons, those are the ones who benefit. But I know personally, I do go um, annually. I try to make at least six visits to different agencies and departments, mm -hmm. and we have sessions with them. But it's during their staff meetings, and but we inform them: what are your benefits? What are you contributing? What will you get back? Right. Mm -hmm. Right? And as well, um, I know you mentioned financial literacy earlier, but mm -hmm. that has been a key point for us now mm -hmm. as well because we're doing the lending, we are being exposed to a lot more and realizing a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. So we've incorporated like budgeting, mm -hmm. um, loans. People don't know what the interest rate on loans are and they have loans. You know, that, that's mm -hmm. the cost of borrowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we try to, uh, when we go out in the sessions now, we would give them, yes, an overview of the pension fund, but we also incorporate the, the key, why budgeting is key. Right. Mm -hmm. You have to know what you're making, what you're spending. Is there anything left? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and we, we try to drive home those points. We encourage persons when they come in, you know, come in. You can always come in and, and speak with us. You know, we have a finance manager. We have other persons there who are knowledgeable about finance that can guide and help. You I, know, was, so I was just thinking that that's... So, so someone that's still not in the service, can mm -hmm. they come in and have those conversations? I would not deter anyone. I don't okay. turn away any persons, you know. As long as I have the time, mm -hmm. I will make the time, even if I have to schedule it at another point. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we try to help persons because we, our office, like I said, because it's called pensions, we get every type of pensioner right. coming in, mm -hmm. you know. So we try, we guide them. We don't just turn them away. You know, if we can help, if we can make a phone call, if we can right. send right. an email, do a letter. We've done letters, we've, you know. So we try to assist persons in any way we can. Right and um, but education. So Leniva, we do we mm -hmm. do visit departments, we do visit um, agencies, and we try to just explain to them what they're contributing to and what their benefits are. Gotcha. So that tells me then uh -huh. that the people who are contributing and the people who are benefiting mm -hmm. are aware, and it is mostly those of us who <laughs> are not affected. <laughs> who are not aware <laughs> and again unfortunately yes, sometimes we is. take that unawareness yes. <laughs> and, and make others yeah. similarly Un unaware mm. <laughs> and, and <we> spread. <laughs> that's a good way to put it <laughs> we do get those calls trust me we do get those calls oh I heard this I heard this so mm -hmm. you know we take that opportunity to correct yes. to correct yes. you know because that's key you don't just dismiss it you correct it give them the correct information encourage them to come and have a discussion because if you're a contributor it's your right to know mm -hmm. what are my benefits what can I expect at retirement mm -hmm. you know it, it's your right so i mean absent uh, of your current formation there's no need for an agm or these type of things how do you go about reporting mm -hmm. if necessary as to the position of the public service pension board. we have to do that annually yeah. and because we're attached to the ministry of finance and um the, with the new um, requirements for reporting we do quarterly reports okay. financial reports with our, which are submitted um, every year for the budget um, we do a little write up uh, as well of our, um, what do we hope to achieve in the future, our goals our you know, targets, things uh -huh. like that so we do, we are held accountable and once our accounts are audited, they are laid before the house as well Okay. Yeah. And how often are they audited? Um, every year. We're mm -hmm. a bit behind right now, but um, everybody behind. We yeah. just come up a pandemic. Oh, yeah. So yeah, but but um, the auditors were planning a visit this month, later this month. So we're hoping to get right back on track with that okay. as well. But yeah, we we're, we're definitely we have to report. Okay. You have that to let good. persons know what we're doing. <laughs> that is that is good. I have a I have mm -hmm. another question if mm -hmm. I may. How much, how much of what you do um, is translated, like going back to the government being an employer, is translated into the recruitment efforts of government or the public administration mm. sector, or department, sorry. Mm. 
like I think when you're quoting people to get into a job, the package should be presented to them. Oh, we how, do. How much of what you do mm-hmm. right now translate into persons out there, young people saying, you know, government is an employer of choice? Okay. Um, well, we do. Uh, we've teamed up with community college before. Uh-huh. We also have a sixth form um, that we financial um, business studies, I believe that's the term for it. Um, that class, we've had them before, we're having them next week actually. Okay. You know, so it'll be different, um, you know, different mm-hmm. students each time. But what we do is we take that opportunity mm-hmm. to educate them about the pensions and what is a pension fund and that in itself is a benefit. Uh-huh. It's something that should attract somebody to the service. Right. Mm-hmm. And then uh, in terms of retention, uh, public admin, they have an annual new employees um, seminar, two-day workshop, and we always make a presentation there as well. Uh So we let persons know, hey, this is what you can look forward to. I always Mm -hmm. have a sample calculation, things like that, so persons will know, hey, this is what you can expect from your service with government. And like we've been saying all day, only government offers that pension plan Mm -hmm. right now. Aside from Social Security, you know, it's just the government that has so, that. So this is this is this is what I wanted to get. You know, persons mm-hmm. might say government doesn't pay well. Some might say <laughs> government don't pay well. Mm-hmm. But the same persons that are saying that go home with just social security. Yes. And social security contributions are paid based on a percentage of your highest pay at the time. Yes. Which doesn't take into account service charge, right? No. <laughs> so, no, I understand. So, uh, you, you see where I'm going here with this? Yes, <laughs> we, yes. We, we happy in the moment. We happy mm-hmm, for now. Mm-hmm. Wow, we get a 2500 mm-hmm. three grand service charge. Yes, yes. But you're making $800 mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. your pay. Mm-hmm. And your contributions are made based on that. Yeah. And then when you're retired now, there's nothing. Yes. Because I, I do hear persons in the retail <coughs> sector, yeah. Um talk about the social security pension but Mm -hmm. um, I asked a couple questions and I understood that service charge was not factored into it. You best believe it. So it's, yeah, that can translate into smaller (laughs) monthly So you can actually be listening if you can actually (laughs) speed up and go (laughs) But but that was, I was a bit surprised. Here's where she going on. I know where she going. Mara said back and enjoy this. But but that to me speaks to (laughs) education. Uh Uh-huh and educating persons on why um, funds like this are important. Mm -hmm. I doubt very much that you were around when the pension fund came Mm -hmm. into being. What do you mean? No. No, no. no. I joined after. Yes. I joined after. Oh, oh, yes. it's not, yes. that mean that you were born. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> she said around. No, no. I, 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 see, what if I understood what I meant? I didn't. <laughs> and, and, and the reason I was going with that was <clears throat> yes, it's legislated. Those contributions are legislated. So persons cannot opt out. No. Right. Okay, that's good. But how do we keep persons. You, 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 I told you I'm, about that. I'm looking, I'm looking for the word. Say it as it is. You know. Say it as it is. How do you keep persons from being, quote unquote, disgruntled about having to make that contribution? Mm-hmm. Um, do you think that there is enough awareness? I know we've spoken about, mm-hmm. you know, going mm-hmm. out there. Mm-hmm. But do you think that there's enough awareness or is there something more that can be done to sensitize them as to why this is important? Because like Ivan said, for persons in the hotel industry or mm-hmm. any other industry, but specifically the, oh, the, yeah, yeah. the uh, tourism industry, mm-hmm. when you're being paid and the money goes into social security, but it's only based on your salary in the moment. In the yeah. moment. In the moment, mm-hmm. that feels good. Feels good. Yeah. Because in the moment, it's less of your money coming out. Mm-hmm. But in the long term, how do yeah. we how do we get persons to, especially in this generation? I'm not going to exclude myself. Right? Yeah. Delayed gratification. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't. We yeah, want yes, instantaneous. Mm-hmm. And it's like, no. I want my money and I, I want, want it now. now. <laughs> you know, yeah, commercial, yeah, you know yeah, that commercial, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want my money and I want it now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
what is the process of sensitizing um, employees mm -hmm. about the long-term benefits of this? Well, the only thing I find, people don't appreciate what they have mm -hmm. when they have it. Because like I mentioned in the beginning, I, I we think get I want you to repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I want you to repeat no, like, that. Because what I was saying that is persons, there are persons that call us, that come to our office wanting to be members, wanting to give you their 3%. In some cases, people have offered to pay the 6 because, like, you know, they're mm -hmm. their own employer, let's mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. So that that um, desire, you know, they, they, they see the end, you know, the end result, the end goal, the benefit. And I find that when persons have it available to them, they take it for granted. Mm -hmm. And they want to be like, oh, they're just taking my money. I want my 3%. I can hold it for myself. We've had those comments, too, you know. I can save it myself. Save it all. Exactly. Save it well. Persons save it well. aren't that um, dedicated for to last, save last. it. <laughs> it, it does not no, but work. we've we've had those comments, you know. We've had those comments. Oh, I don't want to be a part of this. Um, just give me my three percent. I can save it. <laughs> Sorry for no, I'm serious. And then um, at the end, well, we we only can tell them you can't because you know as mm -hmm. yeah because work. your employers you mm -hmm. you're hired there. You have to pay. It's compulsory. There's no option. But. It's strange because, like I said, when persons are on the outside looking mm -hmm. in, they see that you have something beneficial, something good, something mm -hmm. worthwhile. Mm -hmm. I want to be a part of that. Mm -hmm. But when you're in there, I guess you, you just feel like, hey, you know, I don't mm -hmm. see the benefit yet. And that's why I think we, we try to do the loans. We try to do other things to just see them, hey, this is your money working for you. Mm -hmm. You can actually use it now as well. You know, mm -hmm. you need to... Um, to take a vacation, do some education, something, you yeah. know. You can use your pension contributions to help you get there. Awesome. Right? So, so let me ask you a question. Time. Somebody is working in government. Like how you are honorably discharged in the army. Mm -hmm. They're injured on the job. Mm -hmm. How does the pension fund kick in? Oh, there's, there you get, um, there's a section that's dedicated to medical boarding. Mm -hmm. Injury on the job is also something in there as well and in those cases persons receive their benefits right away you see that hold on let me know why you say that monthly again. benefits or the lump sum benefits both right both. away you, you right understand away. what you say mm. they get injured on the job they can't work anymore yeah and they start receiving their pension yeah you understand you do. but we have people working mm -hmm. in yes. hotel construction construction mm -hmm. they don't even have insurance yeah you see why I want more people into the system now mm -hmm. Because, in all honesty, is the safety net. Remember, yeah. remember the, the last conversation with um, the the committee from the minimum wage, mm -hmm. and Mister Mister Five said that he said, "No, I bet you I'll say one thing here. I try to paraphrase. <laughs> he say, um, minimum wage ain't gonna, ain't gonna fix poverty." Like term, and he said, "You asking mm -hmm. like what?" And then mm -hmm. he said, "Social safety net." Yes, mm -hmm. priceless. That's what a pension Price fund can address. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? Mm -hmm. These people now, they still come to government through social development if they're mm -hmm. injured or sick for assistance. Yep. So it's still, government has to um, meet that cost. Exactly. So if you have a social protection, like mm -hmm. pension for, you know, everybody, uh, unemployment insurance, we didn't touch on that because mm -hmm. that's a, a passion of mine. I okay, yeah, we can that's something. Next, one. <laughs> next episode. <laughs> That's something I'm actually doing a policy paper on that right now because I think that's something that that's missing in Angola. Unemployment insurance that that I mean they can save government millions, millions. Because you get the employee to contribute, you get the employer to contribute, and it's not going to be as high as pension, no. mm -hmm. you know. So it it will be about a one percent, you know. So, so can 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 the <laughs> legislation that we keep referencing kind of lean and delve into that too? Um, I think that will be better administered through social security too, because that okay. right now that covers all Everybody. of Anguilla, right. yeah. So they would have more of that data, okay. and but it's it's something that I just cannot understand why it hasn't been. Because I, yeah, I we we, we can I, stick a pin because I, 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 I
you know what's coming. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> and and our, our listeners and viewers will know what's coming next when it comes. Mm-hmm. But you know, as as we kind of head into wrapping up, mm-hmm. um, I have. Yes, taking a step back from certain social media platforms. Uh But I do browse every now and again. (laughs) (laughs) And I think I came across an ad from a public service pension fund. Mm -hmm. Um, I think advertising your Christmas loan program. Mm -hmm. Is it that you do loans throughout the year or is it just, you know, when there is... Throughout the year. Okay. Yes. Throughout the year, so that is just a special. Every Christmas, mm-hmm. we tend to like beef it up a bit, you okay. know, get pe- people to um, because persons are looking for funding around Christmas for whatever mm-hmm. reason, right? And um, so we try to target them at that point because, like we say, our interest rate is five percent. You're not really going to get unsecured loans at five percent mm-hmm. that easily, right? Mm-hmm. So we try to let them know this is the best value for your money right now. Mm-hmm. You know, so um, take advantage of it. Mm-hmm. It's your contributions. You know, let let it do something for you. Right. You know? So thank you for that, though, because my mm-hmm. staff wouldn't forgive me if I <laughs> if I did um, mention the program. Yes. <laughs> so, I got a question about the loan program. Mm-hmm. How long is the application process? Ivan, you make an appointment and you're paid within five days. Sooner in most cases. Okay, it's and quick people still loan and work for government? I don't, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I try, I, we, we try our best to get them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can get them to stay because when we you know we also get calls before persons like if they're thinking about resigning they will mm-hmm. call and find out benefits you know mm-hmm. I always sit and speak with them and and make sure you know go over the steps and show them okay this is what you get then this is what you have now you know so even though you may be having a little stress or whatever at the moment the end benefit is going to be greater Okay. And, and, and and if I if I do this, it's, ah, this is always <laughs> happening to me when we get ready to wrap up. But mm. several shows back, probably fourth season, you know, the the honorable premier Dr. Ellis Lorenzo Webster, he sat here and he spoke about the fact that the public service carried the economy, supporting yes. several households. Yep during the pandemic and otherwise, mm-hmm. after all mm-hmm. contributions were still being made. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. appropriate use of government funds mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we see the benefit in that yes. right knowing all this because you've been there during them times yes <laughs> knowing all this what do you want to see in the next 10 years for the pension fund that's the only other question i have okay <laughs> what do i want to see in the next 10 years mm-hmm. of course for us to continue to grow continue to grow um hopefully um expand our base not only grow like with government say increasing salaries or whatever because that increases contributions as well but in terms of the base Mm -hmm. if we can get more people on i spoke about the wage workers you know those unestablished persons bring them on to the pension plan so that that would alleviate the government in the future in the long run you know because we would cover the costs they would be contributing towards their own costs you know And hopefully, too, as I mentioned about the unemployment insurance, you know, that we can be instrumental in that. We can we have some expertise in certain areas. We can share, you right. know, and, um, you know, get that up and running right. so that it can benefit the entire, you know, nation. Awesome. Definitely. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, a really good wrap up. So anything, any other questions I have, I'll save for when you return. Okay. In other words, how soon will you be back? <laughs> As we always say, there's always an open, open invitation. invitation. Oh, okay. um, whenever you are ready, if there's anything you would like to come in and speak about. Mm-hmm. The seat is available. Thank you. Yeah. We're available. Don't, don't wait for Glenniva to come meet you in the parking lot. <laughs> there, oh, she'll, yes. yeah, she'll meet you in the parking lot. I need you. And she'll, <laughs> what time are you available? Yeah, mm-hmm. she, This is for sure. Don't, okay. don't think otherwise. But thank you for having me. It has been, been our pleasure. Yeah, thank um, you. Yes. 
I must say in closing, this has been an extremely informative mm -hmm. episode. I think a, the content covered will benefit more than just persons in the public service. Mm -hmm. I hope from this we can get more persons that would champion some changes in the legislation mm -hmm. that would yes. expand mm -hmm. the reach, mm -hmm. the oh. platform, the foundation, everything about the public service pension fund. Mm -hmm. and. It go into the Angular Pension Fund. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. uh, I'm no longer a tongue twister <laughs> for other reasons, but no, it is it is necessary because, mm -hmm. in all honesty, this is the way the world is heading. Yeah. I'm happy that we touched on you know the, the areas of those that are injured on the job, people that can no longer work. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that can happen. Mm -hmm. If the pandemic has taught us anything, is that institutions like yours yeah. secure the future. And when people talk about hedging, um, and I don't want to go into this, then they got okay, got a finance degree, so I'll leave that there. <laughs> but 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 let's 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 bank on and hedge on mm -hmm. what institutions like yours mm -hmm. does, mm -hmm. because that's what's gonna get us over the hump over and over again. And on that yes. note, thank you so much You're for welcome. coming. Yeah. It has been a pleasure having you here for another wonderful, informative session of Progress Report, which is generally and in all actuality, just updates and conversations from the Government Information Service. Going to anything from you? Nope, that's it. That's it? Yeah. All right, thank you for listening. <laughs> See you next time. That's it. <laughs>